LeBron James didn't have but two words to say for these trade rumors. Wow, Kyrie. But let's not forget the way LeBron handled his departure from Cleveland. The first time he joined forces with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh to form the NBA's super team, the Big Three, in the Miami Heat. I'm Ellis57 and welcome to the Green Room. I went off in a 16, give me 17, want a lot, can't have everything, can't have everything. Want a lot, can't have everything, but I want everything. Yeah, yeah. Kyrie Irving, come on to the Knicks, baby, we want you. Melo, you wanted to go to Cleveland in the first place, just agree to do the clause thing, take the eight mil, go ahead, bye bye, see you, farewell, so long, arriva dirty, whatever you want to call it. Kyrie Irving with Kristaps Porzingis, it's over, it's over. I bet you we go to the playoffs, the first year I bet you we go to the playoffs with the roster we have now, the first year I bet you we go to the playoffs. And you'll see that the problem was basically Carmelo Anthony with his non-passing ass. Anyway, in other NBA news, it was basically said that LeBron James was the one that leaked the rumors that uh, Kyrie wanted to trade. Go figure. But Kyrie has some words for him. And everyone back home, please hold it down for the kid. I would very much appreciate that. And Michael Rappaport surely obliged you, buddy. Woo-hoo. Some hot shit right here, boy. Woo. Good for you, Kyrie. Good for you. You deserve to play in a city where you could get a decent bowl of sushi on a Tuesday night. I'm fucking proud of you. Good fucking move. And LeBron, you fucked up. You won the championship and you said, Cleveland, this is for you. But you should have been saying, Kyrie, this is for you. He fucking carried you last season, you fuck you. And now you got nothing, LeBron. You're going to be scratching your bald fucking head next season, trying to figure out how you wound up with Ty Lue as a coach and Jose Calderon as your backup point guard. ha <laughs> you fuck. Boom, 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 boom. Hit the rolly star with the rolly on. Fuck you. You got no point guard. You got no GM. You don't have a fucking shirt. And that's what the fuck you get for creating the friends and family watered down AAUification of the NBA. Good. Well, damn. I blame the media outlets for the way Kyrie is feeling and how he feels right now. I mean, he's a grown ass man and you got reporters that's looking to get a rouse or a reaction out of these players just for their livelihood and the paycheck. Like they say stupid shit like calling LeBron James his father figure, their parent. Like bitch, I'm a grown ass man. LeBron a great father after the Chicago game. What? what? <laughs> Hold up. You see how he said what? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, roll this shit, bro. Roll it. <laughs> Tristan called LeBron a great father after the Chicago game. What? Yes, he did. Great father. Oh, a great father. father. Oh, I thought he's. Oh, I'm bad. I got. I interpreted that that completely wrong. Okay. I thought you said he was a great father to him. I was like, what? Called him a great father. So, yeah. what type of parental role has he played for you and your teammates, LeBron? Oh, okay. So you. T uh, yeah, yeah. I, parental role. I, honestly, I'm. I'm. You know, he's. <laughs> I don't know how to really answer that question. I'm, he's been a he's been a, a great leader for us. I wouldn't. I have one father. I, that's my dad, Dredrick Irving. Um, but for us, in terms of learning the nuances of the game and also how to win on the court and also how to carry ourselves off the court, I feel like he's been a great influence in, in that role. See what I mean? This is just crazy, bro. You see what I'm saying? And she tried to double back with the question. You know what I'm saying? She wish she did. You know what I'm saying? She know what she was doing. But anyway, this is just it from Bleacher Report. Check this out. Kyrie Irving reportedly wants to leave Cleveland Cavaliers in part because of the trade talks that included him earlier in offseason. According to Ramona Showburn, Dave Mc, McMenamin, some shit like that. Just, just check Bleacher Report. You know what I'm saying? But it's basically saying that these talks upset him even more when he found out about his sources said. And those are the sources, you know what I'm saying? Just go check out Bleacher Report on Twitter and you can read the whole article here, you know what I'm saying? You can read this whole shit, read the whole thing, read the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm LS57, gotta feed these streets, spit a clip! Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. This is The Green Room, and if you like this shit, you know what I'm saying, give it some likes, thumbs up, we can keep this series going on. And if you're not a sub, hit that sub button, you know what I'm saying? And I'll see y'all next video. Peace. I went off in a 16, give me 17, want a lot, can't have
of everything.